episode of Comics Review. I'm your host, Kevin Starkey. The first comic I want to talk about today is Avatar. This is issue number two by Radical Comics. And this is two of six, actually. Um, this one I had reviewed, I reviewed um, issue number one. Um, this is kind of a horror, and I guess a horror genre. There's a lot of names on here. I'm not going to, a lot of writers, a lot of artists. Um, I'm not going to name them all right now. Excuse the noise, I have some construction going on downstairs, so I'm just going to have to work with it. Um, it the story only last issue with um, Jebediah Crone, um, he shows up at the realtor's house, um, Rich, who wants to buy um, a house that's for sale that people were murdered in, and he has a history of buying up these houses where people were murdered. And um, it just shows up at this guy's house and the guy's like, you know, you're a nut, get out of here. I don't, I don't want to sell you the house. And um, the guy ends up going to Rich's boss and getting the house. Meanwhile, more murders are taking place and the guy, Rich, is having nightmares, weird dreams, and... It looks like he's going to be framed for these murders. The old guy ends up going to Rich's boss, gets the house, and Rich has a friend with the police, and he tells him that they're coming after him. They found some evidence that leads him, you know, leads them to believe that he's the murderer. His prints are on this weapon. Um, so he goes back to that house to see what the old man wants from the house, and he finds something. And it takes a weird twist at the end. Um, very weird. Great story, though. Love the art. Love the writing. Uh, definitely highly recommend this one. Pick that one up. The next one I want to talk about is American Vampire. This is issue number 10. It's by um, Vertigo Comics. And um, this has to be my number one pick of the year, for sure. Um, Scott Snyder, the a writer on this, and on this one, it's Mateus Santolo Uco, I guess you pronounce the last name. He's the artist on this one. It has previously been Raphael Albuquerque, and I love that art. And this one, actually, Raphael doesn't cover on this, but this guy, um, Mateus, does the inside. It looks very, very much like what I was used to before. The same colors, the same style. I can't really tell the difference, actually. It looks really good. Um, but basically in this issue, it, this is a, one, a part one of two, uh, the series is going to be called The Way Out, and it's about the two um, female American vampires who were friends, one of them, their, their names are Pearly and Hattie, um, Hattie had sort of, um, they both became vampires, and Hattie sided with um, some of the old school European vampires. And she tried to kill Pearly. Pearly kicked her butt and left her for dead. And in this issue, um, this old school European vampire has, has captured her. Hattie brought her back to life, basically. She was close to death. He keeps her tied up, chained up, and he's just ex doing experiments on her, trying to figure out what she's, you know, what, what the vulnerability is of these, this new breed of vampires. And, um, in this one, Pearly is with her boyfriend, Henry, and they're off in um, Arrowhead, California, hiding out, basically. And um, he likes music, and in this issue, he goes to a bar and plays um, guitar up on stage, and everything seems to be going really good with them, and their, their story takes a, a weird twist at this bar. There's some vampires. Um, meanwhile, Hattie breaks loose from this... European vampire guy kicks his butt and then she's going to find uh, Pearly to get revenge. Um, great art, great story. Uh, the writing in here is great. The art is always really, really good. Highly recommend this series. Definitely my pick of the year. Um, the next comic I want to talk about, this is uh, Magus, issue number one. This is by 12 Gauge, who has become one of my favorite uh, publishers this year. They got great artwork, great stories, really good comics. Um, in this 
this issue in the subtitle is called Where Were You When Magic Came Back? And basically, in this universe that this story takes place in, um, magic was sealed away. I guess only certain people had it. Um, government officials knew about it. Religious people knew about it. it it's existence, magic. It's it existence. And that this seal was eventually going to break down and magic was going to come back to most people or to a lot of people or whatever. In this issue, there's a girl. She's, um, it looks like she's in a mental institute. And she has some kind of powers. And she's being, you know, molested or whatever by one of the guards. And she sort of goes off on the guy. And she's, she said, like, I used to be able to control this. Now I can't for some reason. Um, she escapes that place. There's some religious characters involved here. There's, it's like there's a religious group or people that know about it and they're, they, they realize that something weird is going on. Um, magic is coming back and there's somebody that's responsible for it and some government officials are going to try to figure out who that is and find them. And um, pretty much chaos ensues at the mall as, um, as magic is just coming back and all these different people are, are becoming powerful and stuff. So they think this one boy is responsible and they're going to basically look and try to track him down. Um, neat series. Really like the art. The writing's really good. Highly recommend this series. Uh, the next comic I want to talk about is, this is the final one. This is The Cape. It's It says issue number one on it. This is by IDW. But I see online that it's a one shot and it looks like this might be it. It looks like they might not have any more. I'm not sure. I hope they do though. It's, the, um, it's based on a, a story called The Cape by Joe Hill who is the author of the Lock and Key series, which I'm a big fan of. And um, I guess he gave permission to these artists and writers to take his story and, and do what they wanted with it. Um, I love it. It's um, about a young guy, um, and he's a boy. Um, his father died in Vietnam. His mother took his uh, baby blanket and turned it into a cape for him, put some patches and stuff on it. He wore it around and played in it a lot. And in this issue, he he, um, he, fall, he falls out of a tree and injures himself. And then his mother takes the cape and tells him that he got, he got that she threw it away. And um, he, he sort of got headaches from this accident. And he never really gets going in his life. Um, he meets a girl. They get serious. She goes to school. He doesn't get into college and. Um, he lives with her and he gets like a job delivering pizzas and he just never makes anything of himself and him and his girlfriend get into a fight and they split up and he ends up moving back in with his mother he finds his old cape in the basement covers up with it as a blanket and then he begins to levitate and then he realizes back when he fell out of that tree that he thought at the time that he had flown a little bit um, his mom had told him she'd gotten rid of the cape, and now he realizes she didn't. And he goes, fl goes flying in his neighborhood and goes and finds his girlfriend who he's broken up with and takes her on a flight. And then it takes a really weird twist at the end. I'm not going to show you that part, but... Um, and I was shocked when I got to the end. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, it just took a really crazy twist. The cape will return in 2011, it says in the back. So I'm guessing it's going to be a series. Um, I'm definitely going to pick that up. It's amazing. Great issue. Definitely go out and get that one. I think you'll love it. And let me just show you. I got a huge stack of stuff this week. Uh, I'll just go through them real quick. This is Morning Glories, issue 5. Um, the Sixth Gun, issue 7. Skull Kickers, issue four. Neonomicon, issue three. Artifacts, issue four. Superior, issue three. Yeah. Dead Soldier, part four of four. It's a neat series. The X Files, 30 Days of Night. This is issue six. This is a new series that I'm excited about. I like the, the author of this and the, and the artist, uh, Cyclops. 
Um, this is issue number one of eight. Uh, the Suicide Forest, issue number one by IDW. That looks kind of neat. This is the Guild Bork, the one shot. I'm a, a, a fan of the series online, the video series. And then this one, uh, the Untouchable, or Untouchable. That one looks kind of cool, neat, neat looking art there. That's it for this week. Um, please leave a comment here on YouTube or over my blog at 2 dot net. Let me know what you're reading this week. Have you read any of the comics uh, I reviewed this week? And um, have a good week. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.